Episode number two, haircut tour. Let's get it. All right, YouTube. I had a rough day yesterday, man. Currently, I'm in Buffalo, New York. So it was a seven hour drive. So that in itself was rough. Towards my last hour, I got pulled over twice within 20 minutes. And I got four tickets. Ridiculous, all within 20 minutes. Currently, I'm about to link up with my boy Wavy Kid Kev. We about to chop this, man. I need this cut low. But I'm gonna take you guys through his process of how he's gonna cut my hair. Let's go, I'm gonna catch y'all in there. I'm gonna do the behind the scenes, the main video gonna be on his channel, alright? So y'all gonna be over there and over here. You feel me? Let's get through it. YouTube was good. Today we got a long awaited collab, me and Wavy Kid Kev. Shout out Kev, cut was dope, bro. Um, I'm gonna do my best to try and interpret his steps that he's doing. So right now he's coming through my hair and we're gonna get started on the fade. So he put the first guideline in with his trimmers, his babbless trimmers. And I told him I wanted to fade a little bit higher. I wanted to last longer. And I wanted his skin. But I also told him that I don't use the shavers in the back. So he listened to me, which I'm happy about. Um, so yeah, he's doing the fade like straight across in the back. First step of his fade process, um, he's gonna use his Babyliss Boost. I ain't even gonna lie. He kind of made me want these. Like he was showing me the guards and stuff. I was like, yo, I gotta grab these. Um, so he's going up about a full inch. Keeping the guideline the same width all around the head. And these clippers, they felt real smooth on my head. Like, you know, you can feel the guards on your head. Um, now he has his number one guard, his Babyliss number one guard. And he was setting his guidelines in like isolated. And isolated means that you don't like fade them out immediately. You just move on to the next step above it. So once again, he has his one guard. Um, these are the Babyliss Boost guards, I believe. I think that was what he was telling me. Um, but these guards, they felt really comfortable on my head, believe it or not. Definitely gotta cop these. Um, I think they were the Snap FX guards, one of the one or the other. Now he's taking the number two guard. The reason why he switched to the purple guards is because I told him that these guards kind of cut my hair smoother. The regular Babyliss, slash wall guards they just cut the top of my hair patchy so i asked him if he could you know use the purple guard i like the two the three leaves my hair too thick the two um i either get a two open or two closed this was a two open as you can see it's the perfect length um yeah i love this length i also asked him to like blow dry the top i just hate all those little loose hairs that are on my head after a haircut um, but that definitely got the job done. He just combed it with like his bow dryer. Now he has his four guard and he's pretty much just debulking this time. This is the highest guard he's gonna use. This is the four guard. And he's going against the grain of my hair pattern. So each side, my hair pattern grows differently. Right here is kind of like a tricky spot near my crown back there. Um, but yeah, you guys can see the way my hair grows. Then he switched to his three guard. And now he has his two guard. And he's using the corner of his, his, his guard this is very important because when you use the full guard, 
um, especially on my type of hair, it can cut it patchy. So as you can see, he's kind of like flicking out. He prepped it with the three and then he's executing with the two, which is much more safer, especially dealing with texture of hair like mine. It's difficult. It's definitely not an easy haircut. Right here, I was very surprised that he did this. I, I didn't notice this until I played played it back and started editing. He skipped his one and a half guard completely, which I can respect. Um, it saves time. He just skipped straight into the one open and he just really used the flick of his wrist, which I really respect. Now he has his half guard, his babbler's half guard. And this kind of like preps it for the true half guard that he's gonna use after this. There's many different types of zero guards. Now this is like a very thin guard. I believe this came with the snap FX, I'm not too sure. But as you can see, it looks like there's no, no guard on that clipper. That's how small the guard is. And he's just cleaning up the bottom guideline to prep it for the no guard lever closed. And as you can see, the fade's pretty much finished. Now he's just gonna get out that bottom guideline. As you can see, his clippers are zero gap, so they literally just shred it straight through the guideline. He started off with his lever closed and he gradually opened it as he went up. And he's flicking, that's important. He's not digging, he's flicking. So if you notice his wrist, he's just flicking out, letting the clipper, you know, catch the hair and do all the work. And I was surprised his clipper was able to get out the trimmer line because he set it in like he was doing the shape up, which is rare. Um, but yeah, these clippers, as you can see, they just shredded through the guy line. And that fade's blurry. That fade's finished. That fast, he cut my hair really fast too. That I can respect also. He didn't waste no time. Now he's just detailing. And now we're gonna get started on the shape up. So for my lineup, I told him to push me back. So I don't want y'all saying, oh, he pushed me back. He did, but I told him to because I don't like when I have bangs and I like my hairline lasting long. So my hairline, the way it grows is it grows down, you know? So I told him like taper it a little bit and Push it back. Don't be afraid to push it back. I have a peak. My peak is not meant to be covered up. It's meant to be shown. Obviously shaved. And uh, yeah, lineup was super crispy. Shout out Kev. And just watch him work. Doing my vertical bars on the right side. And you guys can see the little light spots in my head. It's just because my hair cuts patchy. When I woof, it just cuts patchy. There's nothing you could really do about it. Then he switched to his boost trimmers. And I saw what he was, I peeped what he was trying to do. Like he was making it even with the other side. Cause I told you guys I have that slight curvature in my head. He's using his enhancements. And I told him I don't use the razor because it makes me bleed, <laughs> like every time. Um, so I told him just use the shavers. This is how I came in. And this is how I'm leaving, man. That's clean, bro. Shout out Wavy Kid Kev, and enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, but not, not, not like I used to be crazy. You a different, bro. You a different breed. You got him in the game, man. I tried my best. Don't get at me. <laughs> Man, you did your thing, bro.